Sometime in the mid-1960s, my father um, decided that he wanted to buy some land with the idea of subdividing it and selling lots and making money. And uh, one time there were a group of us going up trying to survey lines. The property boundary line went right through the middle of this gigantic ancient oak tree. And then they said, well, we're just going to have to cut it down. And then I stood in front of that tree with my arms around it and I screamed that if they wanted to cut down that tree, they'd have to cut through me first. <laughs> and uh, that was a moment at which I realized, okay, one person can make a difference. You can make a difference if you speak to some uh, injustice and, uh, and just ask people to stop and think about it and maybe do take a different action. In 2007, my wife and I took out a home equity loan and put a small three kilowatt solar panel system on our roof. So our system, averaged out over a year, generates about 75, maybe 80 percent of our electricity need. I wanted to be able to say to my friends and family, most of the energy that I consume in my house is coming from our lovely sun. In 2014, this system was completely paid for and all the energy it produces now is like income to me. As the economics improved, more and more people decided they wanted to put solar on their roof. And the amount of applications for rooftop solar went through the roof, so to speak. That's when the utility industry started getting nervous because there'll be less revenue coming into the utility from those customers because their bills drop down to a quarter of what they were before. The new pricing policy my utility company, SRP, adopted in February 2015 was beautifully articulated to shut down the advance of rooftop solar. SRP plans to increase rates for solar customers to make up for the cost of serving solar customers on the electric grid. Customers who had solar installations as of early December would face a new $50 a month charge in 10 years. Customers who install now would have to pay that new $50 a charge immediately. It was so unpopular that they had to hold two public hearings to give everybody an opportunity to tell SRP what they thought. I feel like I've been duped. I'm appalled that none of you have solar, and yet you're going to vote on this. I, I'm just amazed. Uh, th that just blows me away. And at the end of that hearing, they adopted the rate plan. And the amount of applications for rooftop solar crashed. It dropped by 97%. Right when clean renewable energy is really advancing, there's these old, entrenched, fearful interests standing in the way successfully. And so I decided rather than fighting from the outside and complaining about the bad decisions being made in these big institutions that have so much influence on our world, I decided it was time to try to join one of those big institutions and try to seek social and environmental change from within. SRP is regulated by an elected board of directors. So we thought, let's try to get a few people elected to the board of directors who are committed to advancing solar energy. We were going around neighborhoods, knocking on doors and talking to people. And I went around in my neighborhood and I got to meet a whole bunch of my neighbors that I'd never met before. I would tell them that I'm running for the board of directors of Salt River Project. And then I'd ask if uh, they knew that they had a right to vote in the elections and then we got as many of those people as possible to vote for the solar team we called ourselves and uh, two of us were successful since Nick Brown and I have been on the board I think we've had a, a really great opportunity to change the conversation to ask questions that weren't being asked before to request data to back up some of the policies that they had adopted before. And a lot of it was skewed to justify a policy that would suppress the advance of rooftop solar. And Nick and I have been able to question those justifications and bring in new information that provides a different perspective on those policy issues. SRP knows that the trend is in the direction of more clean renewable energy. They know that they're going to have to be shutting down their coal-fired power plants. It's not like they're wholly against it. It's just that they wanted change to come a lot more slowly. 
And I'm one of those persons who wants that change to come a whole lot faster.